He's going into the trap. That's a big boy. This is in Home Depot, guys, by the way. <laughs> the bigger the trap, the better. I see something. I see two. Oh! <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Let's catch him up. Woo! With catch him up fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish. Oh my god. Catch him up. Are we rolling? Like yeah, for real? For real. All right, cool guys, <laughs> what we got to do today is trap day, guys. We need some baits for a peacock. We need to invigorate the peacock without sacrificing all of our goldfish, guys. We have a lot of goldfish and we don't want to sacrifice every single one of them. So what we need to do right now is we did find the bluegill spot already. I'm going to take you guys to that in just a moment. Let's see. All right, cool. Check this out. This is about half an inch, guys. So that's a little bit too big. We don't want our fish sneaking through those holes. We want to catch every single minnow, everything that comes anywhere near our trap. We want to catch it. Nice. All right. Oh. All right. Cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. 23 gauge wire, four foot by five foot. Boom. Hardware. Boom. This is in Home Depot, guys. By the way, we got another two foot by five foot, guys. This is what we're gonna use to make the inside of the trap. This is what we're gonna use for the outside of the trap. Now to the next aisle. Maybe one more. Come on. I found something unbelievable. Four pairs of gloves for 9.98, 88, 88. Let's get out of here. Hello, fishies. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, you look hungry. You look good. Guys, you see that? That's our target species today. All those bluegill right there, center frame. Uh, not you, not you, not you over there. Yeah, Mr. Tilapia, you look, you look tasty. Maybe for my bow fishing video. That's coming out pretty soon, but uh, what? Hey, hey. Stay out of this. As you can see, we have a nice little community right here. Excuse me, Mr. Bass, we're not trying to catch you today. The swarm is overwhelming. Here you go. Check it out. Check it out. We're just baiting them up. Hopefully some comes up and eats this. Oh yeah, they're starting to chew, whatever. As you can see, they're being kind of finicky. Uh oh, oh look, look, look at this little fish. I bet I can catch that with my hands. Look at that, look at that little fish, guys. Look at that, come on, come on. Nice and slow, nice and, I guess I wasn't, I wasn't fast enough. But anyway, that's what we're trying to catch, guys. Little tiny fish like that, and the, all the fish that are over here. That bass just chased that up. What we're trying to do is help Farley out and train his peacock bass to hit anything that moves. So our peacock bass is well trained. We're going to definitely grab some of these live baits we catch with our trap and head over to our peacock bass and show you what Farley's peacock bass is about to be like. All right, we're introducing the fish to some bait, just leaving some extra bait right here. Then we're going to go build our trap, come on back, drop the trap, and hopefully catch some fish. Kelly, are you ready for arts and crafts time? I'm so ready for Let's arts and tell crafts. the viewers what we need. It's your handy dandy pair of wire cutters, guys. This thing will cut through any fence easily. Boom, 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 boom. Number two, we need this beautiful 11 inch stainless steel cable ties to tie up the whole trap together guys these are the best of the best the best tool you can have around the house number three assortment of gloves guys you want gloves and gloves for a friend and gloves for another friend and four you need the two inch 23 gauge wire guys you can get this at any home depot or lowe's i believe and this is the quarter inch mesh guys the smaller mesh means you catch more fish and the four feet by five foot wire guys that's going to be for the length of the trap that we're going to create today and last but not least we need number Number five, Farley, what's up, dude? Uh, what's day wild? Whoa, you got some cool stuff you're editing, Farley. I can't wait to see it. Wild water, Farley, guys. Exactly. He's gonna help me out the trap. Let's get to building. While Farley edits this video, guys, we're gonna build this trap and uh, catch him some fish. Safety first at all costs, guys. Don't forget, safety first. Farley's favorite color is red. Let's give some to Farley. Hey, Farley. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, we're gonna put on some gray ones. I like gray, it's pretty cool. This is the foundation of our trap. This is the four by five foot wire cage, guys. We have two spools of the two by five foot, guys. We need to cut it open, check it out. This is our trap, guys. This is the main part of our trap. Actually, Farley, can I have your feet for a second? Yeah, yeah. So, I need you to just stand here. I have the gloves on. Do me a favor, stand right here. No problem. And then put one other foot over here. Put your left foot in, but I'm just kidding. Right foot out. <laughs> what we're doing here is seeing how big this trap is actually gonna be. This hole is gonna be the front face of the trap, and that's gonna be how long it is, about four feet long. Our zip ties, 500 pack commercial grade zip ties. So all we're gonna do right here is we're gonna put two zip ties back to back. Boom, just like that, super easy. And that'll be that. That's how it needs to look, guys. So this part is secure. Now I need to do this to the other side where Farley's standing. This is an awesome summer 
fun thing to do, guys, because you will guarantee to catch fish. All right, pull hard, guys, secure, and now you're starting to see the trap come together, guys. Look at that thing. That's gonna be a solid fish trap. We can catch a lot of fish with that thing. So you wanna make sure none of the fish escape, right? So what are you gonna do? You're gonna make sure that it's separated by only three inches of space, guys. I'm gonna do the same thing over and over again, all the way down this trap. Boom, just like that, push it through, and that's it. That's not going anywhere, I promise you. Just like you're normally doing throughout the whole process, and get your arm way underneath here. Trap, and boom, there you go. So, we're pretty much done. Boom, pull them all tight. The bigger the trap, the better. Cut off all of these, give yourself probably a half an inch of wiggle room, and just go down the line. <laughs> Yes, all done guys. So now our trap is looking extra trappy guys. Look, that was, we've got a fish in here already. What we're doing right now guys, we're making a door so we can get our bait fish out of the trap once we actually catch them. Now we're good to go. All right, perfect. So you can see here, looks beautiful. I actually did something really special with Farley's pond. We've been draining the pond guys. Come on, come on, come on. Check it out guys. Check out this beautiful peacock bass. Look at this thing. It's That's a big boy. Yeah. It's about time to train that peacock bass, Father. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> We're going to have to do a lot of work with this peacock, and we need some live baits for it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these fish are all plenty hungry, guys. We're going to put new water in here, fill it back up. <laughs> it's about time to train them. Are you ready? I'm ready. Back at it, guys, with this much smaller one. You see, this is the much smaller one. This is a two foot by five foot, guys. All right, guys, now what we need to do is make the funnel so the fish can travel through, ah, and it'll get stuck in our trap. <laughs> this part can get difficult, guys, so if, if you have a partner, it'll definitely help. It's gonna be secured for good. So now it's a lot easier to work with this. Once you have one of these zip ties securing this, oh my gosh, check it out. So this is our cone, guys, good to go. Now all we need to do is insert it into the top of our trap, like so, guys. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Come on over here, boom. Just like that, that's all we need to do. Boom, boom, boom. Looks good. Now we're just gonna do that all the way around and that'll be one side finished. Then we gotta do the other side the same way. There you have it, guys. We're pretty much done. All we need to do is cut off all this excess, all of these extra little snitches. <laughs> if I snip you once, I snip you twice. Yes, yes, yes! Make sure you're wearing gloves because this will stab the hell out of you. I love these traps, guys. This is like my favorite thing to do. I just use it to catch bait fish all the time. Now, to make sure that those edges stay folded over, I'm just gonna go in between each one and go ahead and put an extra zip tie. You can never put too many zip ties, guys. This trap will honestly last as long as you take care of it. Don't get it too rusty and everything. Keep it in a dry place, maybe in your garage, maybe in a shed if you have the room. It'll be good for a long time. Cover it up just about that long. Chop this up and let's uh, get to zipping and tying. Cover it around. As long as you have one side pressed down, you can zip tie it all the way around and take your time doing that. And it should be sealed and good to go. So guys, the bottom is sealed off. So all of our fish are gonna swim in through the entrance, through that hole, right? And the thing that's gonna catch them is that when they try to swim out, check it out guys, there's this little hole and they'll just get stuck right over here in the corner. They won't be able to find the way out, guys. One cut, two cut, three cut, and four. Oh. Yeah. All I'm gonna do is push this down simple and easy. I'm just gonna make sure we have enough wire to go across the trap. And that'll be that. Boom. You can do this with a twist tie or anything, guys. I'm just using what I have available to me right now. So, just need just enough to make sure we can twist that off, so that's enough. So that's just gonna make sure this gate does not open this way. Looks pretty darn good. If, you, if I do say so myself, I'm just gonna make sure it's a, a lot more secure later on when we upgrade this trap just in the next video. But uh, let's take this trap, Farley, and uh, see what we can catch. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, guys, Farley's helping me out with the bucket Whoa, to catch it out. <laughs> so we're gonna use our cast net for the rope, guys. We're gonna kinda like hide it in the bushes over here and use it as a weight. Simple and easy. All we're doing right now is getting some bread taking it apart piece by piece. Gonna squish it up so it sits in the bottom of the trap, guys. That's very important. We want it to sit in the bottom of the trap because if the bread floats to the top of the trap, chances are the fish are gonna be picking at the top of the uh, trap for the bread from the outside of the trap and not swimming into it. I squish it mostly. Some of it's gonna float, but it's no big deal. 
Gotta redo that, make that better later on, but that should be okay for now. Should be okay for now. It's good to meet you. This trap isn't going anywhere, guys, really. So I have all my bread in here. Gonna just make it sit right at the bottom. Come on, guys, come on, come on. So all I'm gonna do is drop this down. Got a little cloud in our way, but boom. That's it, right by the hole, guys, right by the hole. And that should be good. And we're gonna just wait like a half an hour or so, Farley. It's gonna be full of fish, I guarantee it. Let's check the trap. All right, I'm excited. I know. All right, where's it? The... All right, guys, check it out. Let's see what we got, Let's see what we got. I see something. I see two. I see three. I see two. <laughs> oh, crap, there's a lot of them. <laughs> okay, I got one, two. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. We got a freaking ton of these. All those bluegills. <laughs> What's up, all right, man? Cool. So we're gonna use all these baits for our peacock bass. What, what else we have in there? Bluegill, bluegill. Jeez, bro, they got nothing but bluegill in here. That's crazy. I know. Okay, cool. So let me show you how to empty out the trap, though, guys. And see, I think that's. Is it all we got is bluegills? Dude, it looks like it. Trap full of bait, baby. Yeah. <laughs> all right, boy, let's get some water. Now check it out, guys. All I need to do to get all these fish out is turn them over. Okay, let's try not to lose too many. I guess this is not how fish are, guys. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Get close. That's easy. I know, I know. They're, They're jumping around a little bit. Come on, come on. You got to kind of like aim it. Got some bread in there. in there. Oh, I got one more. That's it. That's it, guys. Simple as that. There's no weeds. Let me get some of the bread out. There's some more chunks. All right, hold on. Let me have some, let me empty it. Oh, no, 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 no. The fall is so good. I know, the fall is so good. We got a ton of them, and they're all pretty much like this. Check it out. That's gorgeous. I know. All perfect size oh. peacock baits, guys. That's some good perfect, perfect. I'm gonna freeze yeah. most of these, mm -hmm. but right now I'm gonna take a couple to you, Farley, because you need to train your fish. I know, I know. And um, we're gonna bring some to our peacock bass, too. All right, I'm gonna grab some of these for my peacock bass, Farley. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab. Then it's time to train Hercules! Yeah. Is that what you named that thing? Yeah, yeah. Hercules, right. Hercules! So I got some of them too. I'm gonna take these to our peacock bass at home. Paul's gonna throw some of these fish in here and see how they react to live baits. He's gonna do that on his channel, Wild World of Farley. You already know my fish are gonna go crazy. We're gonna go feed them over at my other pond right now. All right, we got our tasty treats, guys. Let's go see if that one's here to eat them, boy. Hello, my children. Yes, yes, I know you're ready. Okay, guys, check it out. One at a time, prime baits, all ready to go. I almost want to go fishing, like I really do. I can't believe we got like nothing but bluegills, like no cichlids, nothing. That's weird, but anyway, whatever, it works, it works. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to hold this as hard as I can and not get my fingers messed up. Okay, ready? He's looking, oh, oh my, God. my God. Oh no, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. I'm so afraid. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, buddy. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Look at oh. You can do it. Oh my god, he's so fast. Relax. Oh. Oh. Relax. Oh, oh my so gosh. Scared. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, relax. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I can't do it! I can't feel it! I can't feel it! I'm sorry, I tried. I really tried. Oh my gosh. He was giving me anxiety oh watching. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> oh, I dropped that one. Oh, oh wow. my god. So I want to see the pocket. Check this out. Ready? Oh, no, oh. No, not the arrow. Oh, the, what? what the? Look at the pocket. Look at the pocket. The pocket got him. The pocket got him. Oh. Yes. Yeah, his head. Yes. Check it out. Check it out. The Paku eat live bait, guys. I've seen people fish with live bluegill, and they come back and their bluegill is chopped in half. Down here in South Florida, we have a Paku population. They do breed up down here. So check these. Oh, don't, don't fall out of my hands. Check them out. The Paku will eat these out of my hands as well. Come here, guys. The thing is that the peacock gets to them first. Cool. Ah, oh, my yes. goodness. Here, here's a big Paku. Watch out. Oh, watch out, Arrow. Watch out, Arrow. No, don't bite me. Don't bite me. Arrow, no, no, no. No, no, please. Please, Paku, Paku, oh, please. God. Please, no, not for you. Not for ah. you. Oh, my God. Jesus. Paku, 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 Paku. Ah, Pika. Paku, 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 Paku. 
Please, please, <laughs> do it. I can't. I'm sorry, God. I love you all. We'll see you on the next episode. We're going to feed all these monsters doing crazy stuff. Check them out. They're just absolutely magnificent fish. Oh, give me a break. Catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Get him up.